just found one pack in the wild. Oh, Manga Luffy. Nats is almost here. It's right around the corner this Friday. I'm flying out and playing on Saturday. And my object is to avenge Ace. There's gonna be a lot of Sakazukis in the room and I'm bringing Red Luffy and I'm just gonna pound as many Sakazukis as possible. It's, it's not a free matchup for me, but I can definitely get it. If I see the right cards and hopefully the One Piece card game gods will smile upon me Nico will be at my back but I gotta say there's a lot about this game that has paralleled the story of One Piece quite a lot and the story Luffy doesn't quite beat Sakazuki but Ace isn't doing so hot in the game right now and I think if anybody's gonna avenge his brother it's gonna be me rocking my red Luffy anyway today I have one Shrippum it's just one pack I'm pretty excited about it. I just found one pack in the wild and I weighed it because it felt really heavy and it was 1.5 ounces, which is insanely heavier than any other pack. So I thought I'd just strip it here today. I wasn't really actually gonna do a stripping today because I've just been grinding for nets, but at HZ19, I gotta do my strippings for him because he's been doing some awesome work with me. Whoa, whoa, this is sick. I didn't even know this card was in the set. What? The Sakazuki leader is sick. Oh, now that's the alt art that I've been looking for. For that leader. Whoa, Manga Luffy. It's pretty, that's, a, that's Rush Luffy. That's the best card in my deck. Sanji Blocker. Really, really, really good card. Oh, Katakuri Secret Rare. Nice. These are pretty sick manga arts, actually. Pretty, very, very impressed. Queen Blocker. I thought that was in the starter deck. Whoa, Manga Luffy leader, purple Luffy. Very cool. Oh, that's a, a Manga Katakuri leader, I guess. And a wanted Yamato and a Nami Dong. Just kidding, these are all Kaizoku cards. I cut the pack in the back and I stuck the cards in them to make it look like I was stripping them out of there as a joke, because I just wanted to show off some new Kaizoku cards. I got Dong cards, I got wanted cards coming out. Got these new manga proxies that are super fun and cool to get, because it's really hard to get One Piece cards these days. So if you're not able to afford One Piece cards and you want to play the game and you're just playing with friends, you can get these cards so you can continue playing the game. Um, you know, it's it's nice to have the cards with the text on them, and these at least look really good, so they're really, you know, fun to play with. They, they, they're about as thin as a regular card, so you can kind of shuffle them in your deck. But these are not tournament legal. You can't bring these to, like, Nationals or Treasure Cup or something, but most locals, you can usually just play. It's fine. Um, this is an artist print of upcoming leader I have coming out. Uh, this Croc. I think he's coming out pretty soon, actually. I also have this Zoro that I'm working on. This Zoro looks... Pretty fire. I'm pretty excited about this one. And this Yamato also. There, yeah, I'm pretty psyched about this Yamato. I think this one's pretty sick. This was the original, but I don't really like this one as much. I like, this seems a little more fun. So, I read it. This was a test print. The test prints of this will, will have this on the back because this was the test print. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this strip em. Oh, oh, I gotta show, I gotta show off my deck box. Also, I got this sweet deck box. This is my deck box I'm gonna be rocking. I, I decked it out with some, I cut up some Kaizoku cards and put them on here. And of course, I have my, my legal Dawn deck, which is, I got my Yamato sleeves on them. One Yamato Dawn with a bunch of golden Dawn. That's what I'm rocking for my Dawn deck. And of course I have my 666 Serial Luffy that I broke out of the slab so I can play it at Nats. And my sleeves are looking pretty good. I just changed them last night, so I gotta get my deck. Gotta become good friends with my deck again so it, so it likes me. But yeah, that's my deck. I'm gonna be playing Red Luffy. I'll show it off after Nats. And if I do well at Nats, I'm gonna make a full manga version of my deck with HZ19, that's our plan. We're gonna make a full manga proxy version of the deck that I play at Nats. There will only be 10 available. So yeah, hopefully I do well. Hopefully I win, that would be cool. Then I get to go play in Japan. I'm a dentist, I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip of the day is, there's a crystal in the enamel of your tooth. It's called hydroxyapatite. It's a rare earth mineral, actually, appetite, but this is a different version of that that makes your tooth crystal, basically. 
And it's easy to remember the name because when you're hungry, you have an appetite. So you just say hydroxy in front of that. And if you were a student at the Trin Princeton Charter School when I came to teach you and taught you the name hydroxy appetite, if you came up to me and said it after the class, I'd give you a pack of Pokemon cards. But I can't give everybody on YouTube a pack of Pokemon cards. But you can get Kaizoku cards at kaizokucards.com. Check out some of these cool manga proxy cards and other things that I've made. A lot of these in collaboration with HC19 and other cool artists. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see y'all in the next one. We're here at the official Mitsuha Japan One Piece, the One Piece card game. The One Piece card game is here, and we all played it today with each other, and we all became friends, and got these cool packs, yeah. promotional One Piece product. Thanks for subscribing and liking every single one of my videos. Oh, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs>